Hi, this is a slightly different comfy video. Uh, it's got quite a hard one to explain, but I quite often need to um, take uh, photographs, such as the one here, which often aren't very good, such as the one here isn't, and then turn them into a slick graphic comic strip type drawing with uh, flat infills and, and so forth. You can use a uh, comic strip Laura, which is the very excellent Ink Punk IPXL one, but from image to image with a poor reference you get this sort of thing which is she's a little bit drawn and it's put the cars in and it's trying quite hard and I might get a, a slightly more um, comic strippy version if if I increase the denoise but uh, the increasing the denoise means that we'll move away from uh, what she looks like. So what I've thought about was um, what are the things that make a comic strip it's the it's the flat areas of color and the line work really so I thought I would try and find a way of processing this image uh, to get it part of the way there before I fed it in with the um, image to image and so this is what I came up with it's a it's a bit of a it's quite simple actually there's quite a there's just a few repeats in it. So what I do is, we'll start at the beginning here. I should have tested this image first. It's probably going to have a horrible result. <laughs> well, I had to, but uh, no, it should work fine. So this area here, uh, we can ignore these two. These are for uh, cutting, cutting the face out and uh, refining it with the same settings and the same prompt. So these aren't doing anything, these two. Then we have an image correct. Just this is the image control, should I say, um, because this image is composited together, blended together several times during the process. You can see I've got a bus running along here, piping that image along and, and the contrast and so forth and the gamma of, of this image ha has a, a, a large effect on the final result. So what I wanted to do is to split the image into four posterized tones or well, I've forgotten how many it is there is that five is it four or five I don't know four I think so what I've done is use posterize here with different thresholds and you see the threshold steps down from 70 to 35 to 15 so there's three steps and each time they're blended together 50 percent on screen so you can see the first one comes out here and then there's the second one and then they mix together which results in that then there's another posterize and then that's mixed together which gives this which has i don't have to count them now one two three four and then and you see the original image coming in here and that's why that image there down here has to be a bit more punchy because it's going to get washed out at this stage so i drop her in uh, so this is Joining, is follow it along here, that's blending my posterized image, my in four tones, with the original image, and that comes out down here, and that's the result of the two. And then I do another cut, uh, line art correct, uh, and this correct isn't for the final thing. The other thing I have to add, uh, so I've got my flat tones here. We've, we've got her made in fairly fairly flat and um and you know tones to, you know it's it's really simplified the whole thing but i want lines so i'm using uh, a um control nut pre preprocessor which is realistic line art and that is making lines which i'm going to overlay so this is usually it produces white lines on black but i've inverted it and then i've i've corrected it to make it all blacker and stronger and then that's blended again but it's blended over this image here you'll see that blended over this image here and then there's a final color correct and then a color tint and I, I do the color tint just to put some to give it an overall harmonious color I can have it at quite low levels we might have it at blue for this now what you'll see is we'll just set this to never and if I run that you'll see that's gone a little bit blue <coughs> maybe here we could do with a little more uh, contrast or perhaps even a little less contrast. We'll take the contrast down, take the gamma up a bit, and you'll see the whole lot change. And it'll run right the way through. And you see she, she's now a little bit darker. So I'll run them through again. We're posterizing the image here, overlaying the original image to put color back in again, doing a pre-process pre segmenter to make line, up, line work to go over the top. Here's the line work. And then it's percentaged over the top. So you've got flat colors and lines around the edges. 
before we even start. So I'll just run that into here. The, the other advantage of this method is that I can feed any one of these images into here for, to get different effects. So what we'll do, we'll run that into there. That group to always adjust the prompt. I think we'll leave the wrecked cars. She has uh, dark glasses on. That's the only thing. That should be good. So we'll run that. So here it is back, and there she is, which is considerably more, uh, uh, as you see, from a, a pretty unexciting image as well. You can adjust the strength of the background here by by altering the the um, tone and balances, so you you can adjust it. I, but this is the result I want with the uh, with the clean graphic feel to it, which I, I, I rather like. So I'll bring the other one up so you can see the comparison. That's quite a difference, I think you'll agree. And uh, I'll do another one, perhaps with a slightly more challenging uh, image. So here we are. Here's a, a slightly more challenging image. Well, it's two people for a start, which doesn't make it easy. So what I do to uh, check how it's going to go, because each image is slightly different, so this, um, we'll turn those to never. So, so this chain here, you can make adjustments at various stages to, I'll try, it's a bit long, I'll try and get it to run so you can see it running, because it's quite fun. <laughs> okay, only marks. Are you ready? Get set, go. As you see, the, the image, it zips through it. Uh, it only takes a few. So you, any changes you make here, are pretty easy to do. So I'll zoom in to see that, what we've got. So we've got the flat tones, and I might make this a little bit stronger, just to darken it off a bit. And this is actually very uh, important, this stage, because it gives a colour harmony to the whole image, which you don't get in a photograph, but a, a good comic strip artist certainly would do. And here's the line work, and that's overlaid. And that's the posterised image. We'll, have a, we'll run back through the images. So there's the posterised image with the colour fed back in. And then we go down through the posterised images here. Some of these are quite nice. You can, if you like one of these, I quite like that one, you could cut this step out and just go with this one if you wanted. So it, it's very flexible in, in what you can do. Okay, so we'll adjust our, make those to always, adjust our prompt. They're slightly, they're girls. They've got dark glasses. We haven't got any cars. I don't think we need a leather jacket. Do we need a leather jacket? We can keep the leather jacket. It won't do any harm. Okay, there. by the way, there's there's nothing unusual about this. This is absolute straight image to image. There's nothing fancy in there at all. 10 steps, Dream Shaper, XL, 2. Denoise is 60. Uh, the, trying to do it directly, you have to take the denoise up to 80 to get anything good. Um, some images will translate uh, if they're quite tonally, if they're tonally quite constrained in the first place then you might get lucky we all hope to get lucky okay let's run that and see if it makes a mess of this two figures is always a bit challenging so it might it might, might go horribly wrong so here we are with that back and <clears throat> there they are i'll just bring the uh, original image up there so we can see them together zoom them up and it's got that nice um sophisticated um graphic feel to it uh you do tend to get the odd dot and dash it's you see it's so Proud of its work here. The, the AI has signed it. The hands aren't too bad. There's a thumb to sort out there. But uh, but that image is pretty much ready to go. I can't say much more than that really. That's uh, about the sum of it. I'll put a few examples up at the end for you to uh, to look at. And um, so you can see how it handles the different images. I'll put, I'll put them up in pairs like this so you can see. These are our results. There's the... Two mean looking ladies. I haven't, there's no photoshopping being done on these. Is. There's another one. And you see it, it makes uh, quite a good job of, from very uh, low grade images. Another one here. And these were all done at a denoise of about 60 I know. This one, I actually overlaid a, fo a photo of a cutout over the top to see how it worked, but it, and it worked absolutely fine. I'm in mean, a bit of a mean streets period. I can only apologize for that. But it suits this style very well. And there we are. I hope that was useful and interesting to people. You can do it other ways with uh, comic strip checkpoints, but I, I found them pretty unsatisfactory because you don't have any control. You, you have to accept what you're given, essentially. And unless you manipulate each image in Photoshop first before um, you generate, then you don't really get good results. 
I mean, not that you can't uh, posterize them and do very similar to this in Photoshop, but the, you know, this e each one would take sort of five minutes to do, whereas it does it in ten seconds uh, in country, which uh, I think so. I think a win. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching, and I hope uh, that was useful and interesting.